Daddy, Dad, one coming at you today. <clears throat> what I want to talk about is this um, situation we have going on with Bill Weld and the things that he's been telling everybody. Approved for relief, huh? Interesting, huh? Thought it was top secret document. But yet it's been approved for relief. Now, I believe this guy. for a good long time and then I started seeing things that just didn't add up um, you know it didn't make sense some of the things he kept saying he's going to release information never did never did you know and I even went and defended this guy some on his Facebook page to some people. And, you know, I I still want to believe that he's been telling us the truth. But every time you go and try to research the guy and what he tells you, um, it takes you back to another thing. This is where I was, you know, showing people that the whole thing, the the wiki, the media wiki could be hacked and somebody could have possibly hacked the photo of the son's arm on there. But he admittedly said that his webmaster had put the picture up because his son was, uh, I guess, didn't want people seeing his arm, even though no one would see his face with it, associated with it. Um, oh yeah, this is a different story here. This is a 31 in Florida infected by bacteria in salt water. Part of the whole blue plague, Gulf blue plague. But now I'm finding out that this guy has kind of been linked back to uh, this Justin Tribble guy. And he's the one who made the fake thing about Joel Osteen abandoning his faith and stuff like that. And I did a video on that too. Um, the thing that really got me was this Edward Snowden post here. And I mean, come on, Edward Snowden's going to jump on there and say, hey, way to go, you know, uh, and you're right about this. Man, Edward Snowden doesn't know who you are, dude. He's dealing with stuff over in Russia, and I doubt they even let his communique come through the United States. But I could be wrong. Now, there's a lot of other things that I've discovered. Um, this is some stuff that this uh, Justin Dribble has been involved in, that this guy has been involved in, I guess, exposing those who, uh, you know, are fake, which is possible that he could be fake himself. I don't know for sure yet. Now this was on the Facebook page. This is what I wrote to him. There are many things that don't pan out here. You said your son did all the video stuff. Now it's a webmaster that's done all the video stuff. You have not mentioned how your daughter is doing. Is she out of the hospital? There's no info about your existence before September. 2013. Every link you say to go to is under construction. Um, older ones on GoDaddy are for sale. I have defended you, prayed for you, and your family. 
could you please show some proof as to who you are? A picture ID with your name and face that matches? You know, uh, put tape over your address and stuff. I mean, it's already on websites you put it on. Show us some proof that you're who you are. You know, is that too much to ask? Justin Trimble laughs about using his real voice pretending to be your son on the radio show. News docs you said have been released are not there. Everything you guide us to is being as being proof is suspect. Please know I want to believe you are being honest but the evidence is stacking up against you. Please understand where we stand on this whole thing. Help us help you. Thank you. And I posted this. And I want you guys to see if this post remains on this Facebook page. Okay? That shows that I sent it. Now more here. You know, the Edward Snowden thing, he brags about, thank you, Edward Snowden, for the shout-out on Twitter about my family. I appreciate it. You know, come on. Come on. Edward Snowden's going to come and comment. Who's going to be next? Uh, Freaking Julian Assange is going to come and say, hey, way to go, bro. I mean, come on. And there's it's not just me. There's a lot of people wanting to know some freaking wanting to get some questions answered here. Uh, phone and internet, we have a recording of one of them which we will post soon on a video. Okay, I'm waiting to hear that video. And so are a lot of people. This is Edward Snowden. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's the real Edward Snowden. Who knows? But followed by Dr. Bill H. Wells and Luke and whatever. Um, this is LinkedIn, okay? I'm also a member of LinkedIn. And these are just some things that, uh, I was not able to verify who he is or that he even exists. This is Spokio.com. I want you to see here. This is his wife, married to Matilda Lynn Lucy. Okay? This is his wife. I typed in her name. She doesn't exist. No results found. Uh, this is his, uh, his dad, okay, William, John William Welch, doesn't exist, William Bill Holder Welch, that's his full name. No results found for that man. Okay. Went back. William Holden Wells. No results found. Justin Tribble. Boom. There's Justin Tribble all over the place. Okay. Don't know if that's the same one. This is me here. Boom. There I am all over the place. Just to show you that it, it shows real people. Mr. Von Martin. None of them in Florida. Okay. Jeff Bowman. Whole bunch of Jeff Bowmans all over the place. Okay. There's a dude in the Boston Bomber. Karl Marx. There's Karl Marx. I guess there's only one of him. This is a little bit of his ancestry. 
but you know there's his wife again we'll let type her up in there no results found people there's fakes everywhere now I don't know about Rev Michelle Hopkins I know that she's pushing this guy and she hasn't done her homework I pushed this guy and I didn't have to do my homework and I apologize for that I'm so sorry y'all I should have been smarter but when you hear information and it seems like it's dire and it needs to get out you know we get ahead of ourselves and we put it out counterfeit everywhere fake everywhere and I want to thank those who questioned and uh, ask some questions before just believing like so many of us did and it's okay that we got fake now who knows maybe it might turn out that this guy is 100% right but uh, I could also print money myself in Sharpie we trust who knows so you know all this stuff this guy's involved in I looked for and looked it up nothing 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 oh well, I should have resized my thing there that's me you know I come up but it he doesn't so you know and there's the things that are on my linklet thing and nothing is on his so, guys, do some research on this thing. Believe what you want. I know that I'm not going to take him real serious until he really shows some proof of who he is, that he is who he says he is, and all this stuff. All we need to see is a law degree with his name on it. And if, I, I, I want to know this. If he's savvy enough to get on Facebook and post like he does, and on Twitter and post like he does, then he can dang sure do a YouTube video and learn how. And it, you know, because he does a lot of Facebooking and Twittering and a lot of other stuff too. So believe me, he could get on YouTube and do us a video about that or get his webmaster or whatever to do a video now I've never heard of anybody having a webmaster do their stuff for them unless they just have so much money that they just can throw it around anyway I hope everyone's well I hope this has helped some this is Chatty Dad one God bless good luck to us all and uh Never give up your guns. The rights go right along with them. And I wouldn't worry about this thing if I was you. Uh, <laughs> my worries have been put at ease from this. I don't think this guy is who he say he is. He could be. I could be wrong. This is Chatty Dad then. Hope you're having a great day. God bless. Good luck to us all. Over and out.